ba? Sige ba? Sige ba? Hop! Konting-konti pa. Kasi hindi pa nukpon. Konting-konti lang. Hop! Just a safety reminder, every time you work under a car, make sure uh, there is a jack stand, chucks at the end, wear a helmet, wear a safety glasses, gloves is optional, but always, always wear eyeglasses. Let's see the engine under guard. This is light. It's less than, uh, less than 5 pounds. But it's not designed for heavy duty, it's only a basic protection. This is the engine underguard for Subaru Outback Wilderness. Part number E515SAN040. It comes with a mounting hardware. Instructions and you're gonna need um, a hole saw. 40 millimeter. 11 millimeter and 13 millimeter first part of installation uh, before we go under the car get the blue rubber cup and install it here in the center this way uh, and the rubber cup uh, facing uh, the frame just like that so installing the rubber cup it's a little difficult get a flat flathead screwdriver and push it in just like that easy so this should look like this installed okay let's start now we are under the car this is what it looks like without the underguard so the plan is uh, to remove the plastic underguard make this hole bigger mount the new um, hardware and bolt it in uh, we'll start with removing the push pin there are total of 16 of them it's easy to remove flathead just like that there you go that's it so 16 of those That's why you need to wear eye protection. Look at the sky. Nice. Then on the side, there will be four total. One, two, three. And then all the way up. Four. This one is all the way up here. There. The same on the other side. One, two, three. Last one all the way up. And there are three push pins in the front. One two three don't get confused not this one with a notch this one three of them in the front pull it there's a bolt right here remove this bolt 12 millimeter Wash your eyes. Take this plastic out. You don't need this anymore, you can throw it away. Same on the other side. So the underbody looks like this without that plastic underguard. It has a 
card already. Alright. Now we are gonna drill a bigger hole, five in total. Here, 13 millimeter, 11 millimeter, and 40 millimeter here in the center. Five total. Get a wood, get a tea. Sit it in the center right here. So this is actually one and a half in diameter or 38 millimeter. That's the closest I have for the 40 over here. Here it would be 11 and that's a 13 millimeter. The closest I have will be a half inch. That's 12.7 uh, millimeter. Hopefully it works. side when we remove this plastic bracket we're gonna replace it with this metal bracket and a push pin that comes with the mounting hardware just like this and like that same on the other side now over here we're gonna install the clip uh, the tip towards the frame okay don't confuse these are this there is two holes in a single hole this is where we're gonna install the single hole tip towards the frame just like that same on the other side so we will be removing this one as well the one that i was pointing out earlier not to remove we will remove it as well on both sides so there's a notch Now we're gonna reinstall the plastic undercover. Make sure this is sandwiched in between here, as well as here, and as well on the other side. Wear safety glasses. Lock it with a push pin. Snap this over here. Make sure everything is aligned. The other side. Then push pin around. Install the push pin back here, 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 and one under the wheel well, and one right here for the bumper. Then the one with the notch here for the bumper. one under the wheel well okay we are ready to install the skid plate so the sequence will be always lock tight all the bolts spacer skid plate bolt All right. 
So here we go. Spacer. Insert the bolt in the skid plate. Insert it in the spacer. And hand tie it. Tip towards the frame. Bolt inside with the washer. Inside the spacer. And tie it. And we're gonna report it uh, once everything is installed. Okay, let it hang. Next. Okay, over here. Uh, the sequence the same. It'll be small spacer, 10 millimeter bolt with washer, sandwich, the skid plate, and hand tight. Okay, let's put lock tight. Always lock tight everything. Pointy tip towards the frame. Bad. Good. All right. Again, small spacer, skid plate, ten millimeter bolt. And tight. Once everything is installed, then we're gonna torque it to specs. The last one will be here at the center. So the sequence will be um, skid plate installed with a spacer, I mean, with a washer, washer, and then nut. Washer and then nut. Always lock tight. Because I love lock tight. So the supplied bolt right here in the front, it's 13 millimeter. This is 10, 10, 10, 10, 13. The center bolt you need to have a wrench to hold the nut inside the frame. All right, time to torque. So this two 13 millimeter. Uh, the torque spec is 24 newtons per meter. One smooth movement until click. millimeter bolt torque spec is 10 newtons per meter one smooth movement until click again And that's it. Hopefully it helps for the DIYers. Now this is what it looks like with complete uh, skid plates. Engine skid plate. Transmission skid plate towards the back. That is uh, differential skid plate and the fuel tank skid plate. Total of four skid plates. Alright, thank you for watching. Good luck and enjoy.